What would you do if you only had 24 hours in Athens and you've seen all of the touristy stuff? Well, in today's video, we're gonna have a local showing us around the real Athens. We're gonna learn about some food, the culture, and a lot more. Get ready. I'm gonna take you around the hidden gems and show you what it's like to be local for 24 hours. Is this a Greek thing? I don't think I've ever seen so many cats so well taken care of oh, yeah, outside. The Greeks, love, the Greeks love the cats. Kuluri. You get it everywhere. It's like Greeks just pick it up. They eat it quickly on their way to, the, to work or uh, college. And you got street vendors send, selling them everywhere. And actually, this place is open 24-7, so they never close. This is the classic. But they have it in different flavors as well, like with chocolate, with cheese. You like it? Mmm. It's got that sweet taste to it, doesn't it? A little bit? Mm. A little sweet, and it almost reminds me of a bagel. Like a, a round, doughy bagel. Not quite New York bagel, but like a Greek bagel. Yeah, it's true, it is. I mean, if you put it, I mean, there's not enough space to put the filling, but that's pretty much what it is. With chocolate, it gets the same flavor. Central Athens has so much street art everywhere. Is that just a really big part of the culture in this city? It's become a big part, I think, because it was like so many buildings uh, that were abandoned and during the time of the crisis as well. Uh, artists just found their inspiration in the streets. So many different pies. These are the famous ones? Yeah. Yes. Cheese pies. Mm. They still make it with the same traditional recipe, so we have to try it. Greece has a very long standing tradition of pies. Secret lies in here, you see? Feta cheese. Trying Kourou, and definitely not my first time eating cheese in Greece. In the last three weeks, I've eaten more cheese than I think in the last three years. Mmm. Something about the mix of the dough, the butter, and the cheese. This feels like a good comfort food that you would eat in the morning, maybe with coffee orange juice, wow. A lot of cheese pies are commercialized, so they have them frozen and they just, uh, you know, they throw them in the oven and they bake it. But this one, it's like you can you can actually taste the flavor and this, it's like sweetness and sourness and the butter is, is perfect. The first rule of Greek coffee is don't make plans because you might be sitting for a while, right? In Greece, everything happens around co like coffee. Uh, you start your morning with coffee, you meet people for lunch for coffee, you meet people for coffee. Let's go for coffee. Pamaya cafe. This is the famous cold coffee. Faristo. You're welcome. I have had Fredo cappuccino mm -hmm. every single day for the last three weeks. I'm absolutely addicted to this stuff now. <laughs> you know, places like New York, Paris, have plenty of cafes, but I don't know, maybe does Athens have more? I feel like there's a cafe and a church in every corner in the city. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Because first of all, don't forget it's the climate, it's we're in the Mediterranean, different character, different way of life, uh, different rhythm. Everyone is not as rushed. That's why uh, people believe it's important to take time to enjoy the simple pleasures of life. And coffee is one of them. You could totally put this cafe in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, would fit right in. Uh, you want to be in the video? I think that's a yes. Greeks are very religious people and also they celebrate their name days, the name day of the saints, more actually than their birthdays. You're Yanis, right? I'm Yanis, yeah. So you celebrate in January. So. so you tell people out there, visit Greece during your name day. So if I come in mid-January, it's going to be a big party for me. Of course, everybody's going to be treating you. So could I wear my name tag? Like, <laughs> hi, I'm, I'm Yanni? Yes, for sure. Okay. It's the central market. Uh, Greeks generally they like to, there's like smaller markets in every uh, area and region so you go there like usually in my area it's like on Thursdays and uh, you go you buy fresh vegetables but here it's all it's meat and fish. Do you want to also? Right now? Or You think we should do it? Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. This is ouzeri like that and they would have their ouzo with uh, nibbles. So this is like a seafood platter. It's meze, small dishes. When he first put the ouzo down, I thought this was water for a second. Yeah. It's not gonna taste like water though, right? No, it doesn't taste like water. It's it's deceiving. So sometimes, you know, they keep them the, in plastic bottles in the fridge. Uh, so you're not too careful. You go in, you like, you gulp down. It can be ouzo. Yamas. <laughs> Yamas. I've never tried this. 
How do you like it? Tastes like, uh, I don't know, Greek cough syrup. In Russia, we had a cough syrup yeah. <laughs> that it's tasted exactly like this. Basically, in Greece, we're not scared to eat with our hands. And it's like, we don't order portions for ourselves. You have to be willing to share. You know how they say, sharing is caring. So you open it. Mmm, uh -huh. perfect. You can see that I, I didn't grow up with this. Peeling my own shrimp. Yeah, take off the legs as well. Okay. Mm. So they come here to the market in the morning to buy some food. Probably their wife sends them. And in the meantime, they go, like, go a cheatscape and they eat some of their uh, meze with ouzo and they go off and they're happy. You speak Greek? No. Where is your Greek? You forgot it home? Oh, I'm not Greek. I, you look very Greek. I've heard that actually. <laughs> yeah. You look very Greek. After three weeks in Greece, do I finally look Greek? I think you nailed it. This is half? Yeah. Yes, my friend. So what's a full look like? <laughs> Let me try this. I never go out of my way to eat liver, but you know, with all this lemon flavoring, as mm. you were saying, so popular in Greece, this is really good. I love like the, the herbs, the spices in this soup. Like when you come out of um, the Greek night loves, you come here for a plate of soup because it's like it's a remedy for hangovers. So in New York, it, you know, five o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, you're eating pizza. In Greece, you're eating soup at 6 a.m. Yeah. Interesting. If the soup was this good and it prevents a hangover, I'd be all about it. <laughs> mm. Not that we're hangover. <laughs> Not yet. You know, you know what I find very distinctive about Athens from the second I got here? I mean, you see, you see a lot of new buildings, and then you walk by a church that just looks hundreds of years old, or obviously we have thousands of years old like Acropolis. Like you have this great mix in the historical center, right? I like to say that Athens is like uh, walking around an open air museum because yeah. every single corner there's like something to uncover. And all these, even like the streets, a lot of the buildings here are now classical. They don't believe in putting fries in their sublaki, nor the tzatziki sauce, the garlic sauce, because it just ruins the flavor. So we're gonna taste what it's all about. So this is like pure souvlaki. Yeah, it's just like very the basics, let's say. You need to come early to get your, your or, or it'll be sold out. Yeah, because it's gonna be sold out, closed, and bye-bye. Oh, it's hot and nice. No french fries, no garlic, very basic. Take one big bite. It's so simple. That just works so well. Eating our way through Athens. Eating our way through Athens. That could be one of the names of his video. Hmm. So Vikos. Vikos. It's a lemonade. This is good stuff. <laughs> we are looking at a high today Athens of about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, about 40 degrees Celsius. That's one of the reasons that so many local Athenians go away to the islands this time of year, right? Athens yeah. actually gets quite quiet in August and it's perfect because you you know you you don't have the same traffic. I don't think I've ever been to a subway in my life where it looks more like a museum than a subway station. This is awesome. Oh no. What happened? I don't know what's cleaner, the Athens subway or Tokyo subway. It's like a tie. It is very clean. It's eating and uh, drinking is not allowed. Compared to everything else in the city, and generally, this is like the cleanest place you'll find. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here, just uh, 3,000 year old sculptures from the Parthenon right in the subway station. Elena, am I the only one that thinks this is the coolest thing ever? That's why I say it's like an open air museum because you really can admire our, our antiquities at every stage. It's a hidden gem in the heart of Athens, right at the foothill of the Acropolis. It's called Anafiotica, and it's actually named after the island of Anafi, which is um, close to Santorini. So when the workers came to Athens, they wanted to build something uh, that resembled that place. And it, it, like you can see a lot of the architecture, does look a lot like the Cycladas. It gives you a feeling of the islands or the, the old Athens. This is absolutely incredible here, and we are literally steps down from the Acropolis, the most famous attraction in all of Greece, maybe in all of the world, and there's like nobody walking around this little pretty neighborhood. If you have to make a movie very cheap in Greece and you want to pretend that you're in one of the Greek islands, like just film here. No one will know the difference. The blue doors, the white cute houses. The oldest distillery in uh, Athens? Yep. 
It's been here since 1909. It's too hot not to have a drink. I absolutely agree with you. We're here trying the racomolo drink with citrus, and racomolo is raki with honey and cinnamon. So let's try it. Mm. This cocktail hit the spot. It's like a little, little cinnamony. <laughs> Mastica liqueur. Mastica is a tree in uh, from Kios Island, and it has a very special taste. I can't compare it to anything else. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Pretty nice. It's unique in Greece. Goes down smooth. I think I've tried at least three different liquors today that I've never had before. We're having a really good. Day. It's one of the best ice cream spots in the city. Maybe the best one and it's their unique flavor. This is really good. I better eat it though before it all melts. It's like 100 degrees right now. You have five seconds. I have five seconds. When you come to Athens, you must hit up a rooftop bar. It's a requirement. We have the couplets as a backdrop. So in Greece, having drinks at a rooftop bar is like one of the most things to do. And this is actually at a hotel where guess what? We're staying here at the Royalty Hotel. Love this place. Check out this quick room tour. So if you're looking for a hotel in Athens, the royalty is so centrally located and they have just these really nice sized rooms. Like, you know, you go to a lot of European capital cities, you get these tiny hotel rooms. I love the shower setup here, little sink, a little seating area, and uh, you know, it's Greece. You gotta have your complimentary coffee. Pretty nice sized bed. You wanna work, you wanna edit your videos, bam, right here. Part of the city right here could not pick a better location. This is the best cocktail I've had so far in almost a month in Greece. Honestly, with that in front of us, I feel like I'm in a movie right now, no joke. You have to visit Athens. I'm sure you're convinced by now. So for more information, head down, look at my blog, and if you want a customized trip, John is putting a link down. Watch our Greek playlist for other ideas of what to do when you visit Greece. Thank you so much for watching. As always, till next time.